You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't... Shit. Silas still on about that. Here. Because they're not my feet. If you're not from... Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased... Shame, though. Yes, Mr. Whoa, uh, did, uh... Did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he... I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. You oblige me with your haste. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. I... Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, I simply cannot afford it. With what? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I... F not a bad idea. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have any...
Hey, lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? You run into any trouble? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe... Well, that's the word, extortion. What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow dog? You may think that, but that whether you're showing up to work or... Go ahead. Edgewater has been good. I am never... The plague... I would... Fever... Whatever it may. Company Paul? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Don't make any trouble for me, okay? What can I do? You know about Eugene? Then, you know Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing more than a few. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body. And uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, ugh. Gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. 
or he rose from the dead. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah? Grave dig. You run into reliable work from a freelancer, and I'll buy you it. Uh. Abernathy was sick with the. What? No, I needed his feet. Yeah.
heist. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Wish we had some better rations. Hey, I need some... You want a mi- Let's see it. Have it decided? Sweet light. Scratched together all the bits I had around the domicile. You're wringing the blood out of me. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house. Another day at the cannery. I've always felt weird in here. It's too... Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. 
Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, I can't... I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to... I apologize. To divine a true path out... One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down band... I happen to know my retrieval... It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here.